I, I <laughs> rolled him many him times. Quit. You have made him quit. Okay, I was like, on, one of the reasons why. One of the reasons why. Popular again. I think people should be giving Volkov a bit more of a try. Um, especially because his acts, SIGs, are abomination. You know, when you're trying to punish things, and Luna's someone who likes to throw out SIGs and not have them really get punished, Volkov is an amazing character for that. You, you act side SIG, then you do charged side SIG, and you get combos off of it sometimes because the ground bounces. I think it's a great Luna character, but the Luna Scythe isn't something that I ever think about. Yeah, it's weird, because, like, like, he had a Mordex phase, but even then, like, was his Scythe really that pop-offable? Right now, Sandstorm's boots are definitely popping off, getting some good Ooh, damage, nice but the neutral SIG catches. Luna, gonna juggle, still wants the axe. Reads high, right, and then lets the weapon throw cover low, and that way he's able to get as out of that situation without committing too heavily Ooh. when he's mashing that side stick, right? And you can see, that's just a I'm like, this is a great Luna character, bro. Double Nair, triple Nair! He's trying to KO with Axe Nair. Neutral light. Where's the M light? I've been seeing, there was a, it was like a South America, I don't even remember how long ago, Wes whipped out Volkov in like <laughs> oh, top yeah. three or something and just mashed side sig, I kid you not, for like five sets and no one knew what to do about it. And Volkov never really got nerfed, I don't believe, since then. Maybe if he did one or two things, but mainly buffed is what my memory says. And so, oh! I mean, look at this, right? Like Recovery? No, goes for the Nair. It's hard to be Recovery? ready for a Volkov. That's a stock. Yeah, we trade those. We <laughs> don't fine. care. Yeah, this is what I wanted to see for Luna. Definitely whip this boy out. I'm sure even Sandstorm is kind of having the effect that Sandstorm's Tesca had on Luna. Luna gets to have that effect on Sandstorm with his Volkov. Yo, but he's got to close out this game. Coming in from that elimination yes. side. Yes. Oh, and he gets the pick up. Two piece. Oh, was reading a dodge oh, down. Fast you better watch out, though. You just might Ooh. weapon throw. It's active. Okay, yeah, they're trading blows here. Sansom can't have that happen right now. And he's on the gauntlets as well. Luna seemingly doing a much better job against this weapon. Oh Jumps man, how away. many of those has he whipped already, right? At least four or five. Sansom's just trying to grab him, but he can't get the dodge. Oh, right. there we go. Finally manages to get a punish. And it's not enough, though. Ooh. Throws it out. Just keep Sandstorm on the stage. Down light side air. Yeah, no need to do the active input. Final stocks here. And There's I actually love restraints. how he played that too, because he did the gravity cancel down sig, and Sandstorm was like, D light's not going to hit you if I try to dash up and do it, and I might just run into your Gatling sig. So I'll just stand here. That's fine. Yeah, just watch it happen. You're kind of locked in place as it happens as well. Sandstorm trying to get back onto the stage here. Sweat beads, but Luna reads high. Two piece. Oh, man. Oh, Mr. the dare. And I'm just remembering that one stock Sandstorm got in the last set. And I'm like, yeah, you can just to win this. But it looks go. like the answer is no here is Luna just manages to get that side sig. Cover himself because he's coming in here with a lot of dexterity. Yeah, one of the few ones. I feel like as far as Axe Legends go, a lot of the time Axe players really don't care for dex. Uh, unless they want like that, as Tazo was saying earlier in the weekend, they want like down air D-Light to be true sometimes. But with Volkog, he's one of the few characters that I feel like you actually can feel the difference. It makes the weapon feel a lot faster. So... Let's see how Sandstorm's able to respond. The boots are already looking a lot stronger in this game, too. He's gotten a few unanswered hits, but Luna's done a great job of responding Ooh. in tow with that scythe. What a trade there. What the heck? Both of them went for their gravity cancels, Luna. Now to go catch the landing there, Sandstorm. Oh, just that up toss, <laughs> just to stun lock Ooh. Luna for a second. He gets away from the SIG. Yeah, Sandstorm's having a tough time trying to figure out how to punch that SIG on boots. I think he's starting to realize that, like, it's really hard, <laughs> you know? It's it's really hard. And he's going to lose the stock here. Yeah, Luna manages to get the first one, just pushes Sandstorm far enough away from the stage. We're going to see how far we can push the advantage here, though, because Sandstorm, I feel like, hasn't really shown, like, uh, too much vulnerability. But right now, this is probably the biggest we've seen the gap get. Yo, but what's his KO option here on Gauntlets? Like, it's generally been that side sig, and so far, when Luna's on Volkov, not getting caught by it. Yeah, really hasn't been. Maybe a D-Light recovery here on Boost would be enough. That down sig as well, also a popular option. Side air should have the juice, and Sandstorm manages to answer back. And you can keep the boots, right? That's where yeah. Luna was really struggling in the winner set, so it makes a whole lot of sense to me that you're going to try to recreate that magic here. But Luna now has a Scythe kind of play around it, and it seems like he seems more comfortable. I think that M-Light is really doing a lot for him in terms of that. Oh, 
No second there. Well, he waited for the ground pound too, but got stuffed out by the recovery from the scythe. Tries to punish that, but Volkow's quick, bro. He puts that sig out and he's gone, dude. Yep. Jumps out of there, throws out a down air just in case you get a little too close on that. Sandstorm, you have them locked down there. Ground pound connects, gets over that corner. Sandstorm trying to aggress here. Man, just to punish it this it. time. Yeah. yeah, it was a little bit faster. And you have to be that on top oh. of things because it is so low end lag. Oh, nice. Oh, Off the weapon? Oh, what? Interesting. Okay. Yeah, not really sure what he was cooking there, but definitely something. Sandstorm, though, manages to get advantage, tries to get the D light, dashes back, and gets the M light as well. Wow. Like, that was fast. Yeah, he did it the same way you see a lot of sword players go for the gravity cancel end light. Kind of the same application scenario, but that one you have to be a little bit more precise with because of the little step forward you take when you kick. But either way, Luna's able to answer back, finds a side air pretty quick. I'm wondering if Luna's going to go up 2 0 here or if Sandstorm's going to be able to respond. He's got those boots. He is hitting that down light into the uh, neutral light so frequently. Oh, I had an air rush there. Dope. Come on now. All right, another response. Oh, side stick, but look at that. Man. It's so fast. It's so fast. Goes for the ground pound. You know, mixing up the, the options off of that in air a little bit to try to keep Sandstorm on his toes, but Sandstorm responds with no issue whatsoever. <gasps> oh, great timing from the ground pound on Sandstorm. Luna tried to re grab the weapon, but he was too slow on the draw, and Sandstorm was able to get a ground pound because of it. Yeah, he's just gonna Woo! face tanked. Ooh, good spacing from Luna, but still damage in favor of Sandstorm. Downlight's there, downlight recovery, and Sandstorm is putting this one away. Downlight, recovery. 1-1. One, one. Okay, yeah, Sandstorm giving back a, a pretty never be warmed up for a Volkov. It doesn't matter how much you play Valhalla, uh, Brawlhalla, rather. You just don't run into this character often enough. And so, like, you can be playing, studying, warming up for VCX. You're fighting a Suri's. You're fighting, you know, this... Uh, Plague of Jay Yun's on the ladder now, but Volkov is not somebody that you're going to run into just in routinely playing the game. No one's like a Volkov main at the upper level, so always going to be a degree of needing to adjust. Jeez, got him, got him. Ooh, got out of the sky, down. picks it up. Great damage, charged, unpunishable. Punish yeah, that's tough. I think he has to go for a nair there uh, somehow, but ends up going too low and Luna can't make it back. And Sandstorm going to be the one to get the first stock. In this game number three, Luna can answer back though. It did look pretty good for you up until that moment, honestly. Yeah, he had a great string of damage on his axe. Now he's over to that scythe. Sandstorm. Like that spot dodge attempt. If Luna went down, was gonna gravity cancel. Okay. Whoa, yeah, Sandstorm has to go real low okay. there. Oh, missed the ground. Maybe dodge. a turnaround. Uh -oh. Got the dodge on that too, oh. so he gets two. And that's just the stock. Yeah, catching Luna right after he dodges makes the edge guard a lot easier for Sandstorm. And just like that, he fires himself into the lead. Yeah, this is now looking real dire for Luna. Side air, going to launch Sandstorm. Still not enough to take off the stock ground pound. He's going deep. He's so hungry for the KOs. Hits the weapon okay, toss, hits the dare. He'll get it. Yeah, off of the weapon throw, really kind of making that a lot easier for him there. But... Still has a lot of work to do here. We need to see a, a Sandstorm-esque Scythe stock from Luna here in order to go ahead and bring things back to an even or, you know, closer game at the very least. But Sandstorm is just getting blow after blow after blow. Here's a retaliation Ooh. attack. Nice side sig off the bat got... as well. Goes for the down sig read. Might still have the stock here. Woo! That's it. Luna gets the reversal on Sandstorm to make this match more in the realm of possibility. Only behind by, like, I don't know, maybe, like, 80 damage now. I'm going to theorycraft that the GC down sig was kind of a, a double action where it keeps you locked up high in the air so you have more time to react. And also it puts out this big hitbox that potentially could have been really dangerous. Nice end sig though. Okay, Sandstorm getting slowed down a bit here. Luna's finding more and more hits, but that's going to be a huge opening for Sandstorm. He gets two, puts Luna in the corner. We've already seen how fast he's willing to press Whoa. ground pound, and I think because of that, Luna gives him an opportunity to get D-Light side air. Can't One touch. more like that, and Luna's done. Yeah, he's running out of room to play Ooh. with. N-Sig read attempted, Ooh. but Sandstorm comes in, hits the N-Sig of his own. Not quite enough. It does so much more force when you land it on, on the stage. stage. Yeah. Old Tesco would have sent you to the Shadow Realm, but... <laughs> 
This one, not so much. That side air is still not enough. Has to burn the dodge, though. Jumps around the weapon throw and gets another dodge back in time if he needs it. Uses it to get to the platform. And man, just to pick up the scythe as well. This is a close one. Is Sandstorm going to trail behind? Luna tries to go for a read. Doesn't get it. Throws the weapon away. That might have been his opportunity here. Ooh. Sandstorm uses the weapon Ooh. throws. Now that's two off of Luna. Luna just trying to Ooh. stay relevant. The neutral air is not going to be enough. He needs a weapon. It's not spawning. There it is. What does he get? He gets a neutral light. Is it going to be enough? enough? It's not enough. Reads high with the weapon toss. Can't punish the whipped recovery. Ooh, Sandstorm throwing out recoveries. Luna throwing out his own. They both want that heavy hit. Sandstorm with a boots neutral light. Takes game number three. Two, one. Cancel their landing on a platform or something like that as a part of kind of like the gimmick with their stage choice. But these two aren't like super heavily in that realm. So I get it. Well, here we go. Game number four, the decider between a game five and potential reset or a Sandstorm gold medal here at the Autumn Championship. Luna starting this one off with the scythe, but Sandstorm's gotten some good damage. Catch a Sandstorm coming up over that corner. Oh, oh, landing nice. there. Oh, dude, oh, dude, oh! Dude, that was freaking godlike. And that was off a of reaction to that dodge oh, as well. Oh. Sandstorm just gets another perfect boots clip on Luna. One in winner's finals and one in grands. He's making Luna, I keep saying this, Luna look foolish. Dude, his boots, and it's not even like the same sequences. He's mixing it up. He's getting some different routes out there. Sometimes going vertical, sometimes going horizontal. Oh, but either no. way, Luna... Going towards those KO boxes, comes back onto the stage with the down oh air, but he's, he's still taking damage. Yeah, and Sandstorm really showing what these boots can do. He's moving so fast now in comparison to some of the past few games. And I think the biggest difference is in how Sandstorm gets his extensions and how often he decides to go for Nair to go for an extended punish. It really gets him all those extra hits and brings him that much closer toward the KO box. Luna... How do you come back from this? Oh, wow, what a response. Good reaction, man. Yeah, yeah, really, right? Like, that's a gamer hours right there. Nice dodge. Gets past that. Oh, down heavy disco, not quite enough. Could Sandstorm ground pound there. Touch. Doesn't want to. Stays on top, still has positioning. Oh, he goes for side lights there. I thought for sure, instead of going for side light, he's going to do turn around and light and just get the stock that way. But now Sandstorm, he, he hovers Ooh. so close, right? If he had gotten that down light, that would have simply just been losing stock. So For sure. Wow. Great spacing from both of these players, though. Luna by being just outside the hitbox of that. Sandstorm by being almost close enough to get it. Down, sick, thrown out. Luna. Ambitious. Just going to come up there. All right. Oh. oh. He was trying to ride that one into the sunset, and Sandstorm sends him there himself with yeah. that side air weapon toss. This is potentially the last shot we see from Luna here. Has to win this game to force a game five to even have the potential at resetting the bracket. Meanwhile, Sandstorm looking to close this one out and bring things home from the winner's side has such a huge lead onto Luna. Luna's trying to answer back. This Volkov has been immaculate, but not quite clean enough to stop the storm. The storm is coming. He is just hitting boots things all over Luna. Luna dodges through. Oh. Sides it connects. Final stock here. Can he get game five? All right. And Luna's Juggle. gonna. He has scythe. The scythe. Okay. He's betting it all on the scythe. We'll see if it's gonna be the option here as he's in the orange offstage against Gauntlets and Ooh. Sandstorm is looking for the moment to go ahead and strike and oh. almost gets the ground power, doesn't hit there. I think the weapon throw might have tapped him, I'm not sure. Yeah. But Luna finds Ooh. the opportunity to get a huge punish and put Sandstorm into the corner without Stop. a weapon. He's not oh. able to capitalize. Outspaced, good dodge. Oh. Luna, oh, doesn't hit the side air though. He gets the Steals weapon though. the weapon. That was a dodge down, Luna not able to cover. Oh no. That's oh. a punish, oh. he's too high in the sky. The bat can fly. Side stick thrown out. Down light, Sare. It's not enough. Does he get a reversal nair here? <gasps> oh! I thought it was a down stick for a second, but then I realized he was on boots. And that end light might spell doom Does for Luna. The, the weapon throw. He has a dodge. He gets through oh. it. He gets the reversal. Can he get the stock? No, Does he, he doesn't flip Sandstorm with the down air. Oh, he's trying so hard. He side stick whiffed. Sandstorm is oh! react and he brings him around back to the alley and throws him on the floor.